Hi everyone, welcome to this new tips and tricks video. Today we are going to look at how you can render top and front view directly inside Twinmotion using the path tracer. To switch to plan view, I'm going to click on my eye menu, click on that icon, the views, and here I'm going to switch to the top one. As you can see here, by default, we have those sharp black outline. It's because in real time, in the raster mode, Twinmotion doesn't support the shadows. But now, since we have the pass tracer, at any moment, you can turn on the pass tracer if you have the compatible hardware, and you can actually have a render out of your top views. That's pretty cool. So you can render top view like that, but it also works for any type of view. So let me, for example, switch to that front view. So the only limitation, as you can see here in that front view and actually all the side view as well, is that right now the sky is not supported. So let's have a look at a quick fix for that. I'm going to switch out of my front view, going back into perspective, disabling the path tracer so we can work a bit faster. I'm going to take some altitude, open the library, and what I'm going to do is actually fake a blue sky. For that, I'm just going to take a basic box, going to scale over one specific axis by typing on tab. I can also use the different icon here to switch to the scale gizmo. Going to scale that on one side, scale that up also, place that behind my project. I'm going to select my material picker and pick that material. And here I'm just going to apply a bluish texture. Now back in my views, views, front. And here now, if I press R, as you can see here, I have my blue sky. Also, while you are in top view like that, you can use a clipping tool to clip through your roof and your ceiling. You can find this clipping tool in the eye menu, clipping. Here, I already know pretty well my project, so I know that I will need to cut at minus two meters to cut through my roof. So now if I come a bit closer to my project, right now it's a bit too dark. So let's enable some light and maybe also tweak a few lighting options. And that's it for this video. Thank you everyone for joining me and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye everyone.